In this video, we'll write the balanced net ion equation for barium nitrate plus potassium chromate. That's BaNO3 2 plus K2CrO4. To do this, we first need to balance the molecular equation. As we look at this, we see we have two nitrates right here and only one over here. If we were to put a two in front of the KNO3, we'd have two nitrates, two potassiums. That's okay, we have two potassiums here. We have the chromate ion here and here. And then we have a barium here and here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. So we write AQ for aqueous. This will dissolve, split up into its ions. Chromates, when we have a potassium compound. Those are very soluble too. So we're going to put an AQ since we have potassium chromate. But barium chromate, this is insoluble. So if you look this up on a solubility table, barium chromate insoluble, that means it won't dissolve, it'll be a solid. These two substances react, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Nitrates, very soluble, little AQ there for that. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolyte part into its ions, and that gives us the complete ionic equation. Barium is in group two on the periodic table, so it'll have a two plus ionic charge. The nitrate, the whole thing, is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have Ba, two plus the barium ion, and I'll write the states at the end. Then we have two of these nitrates. So two nitrate ions. We have potassium group one, so that has a one plus, and the whole chromate ion is two minus. So we have two potassium ions, and then we have the chromate ion. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we just have this barium chromate, potassium, and then the nitrate. So we have two potassium ions, just like in the reactants, plus we have two nitrate ions. Let's put them down here. And these are the products for our complete ionic equation. So we have the complete ionic equation here, and now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So if I look here in the reactants, I have two nitrates here in the reactants, and then in the products, two nitrates. Cross those out, they're spectator ions. Two potassium ions in the reactants and in the products, we get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus K2CrO4. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus potassium chromate. You'll notice charge is balanced. We have a two plus here and a two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. And then we also have a neutral compound in the products. So its charge is zero as well. Its net charge is zero. So charges conserved and the atoms, they're balanced too. That's it. This is the balanced equation for barium nitrate plus potassium chromate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.